Let's right. talk about Ghost. Uh, we have all know the movie. Mm -hmm. How close do you think that the, the, the live performance here on stage, does it follow the movie pretty close? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's like a, a new retelling of a classic love story that we all know. It, it was written by Bruce Joel Rubin. The, the screenplay and the script for this musical was written by Bruce Joel Rubin. So lines from the show, your favorite parts of, this, uh, of, the, of the movie are exactly in the show. And the music, I mean, obviously, is it the spinning where they sit there with Yes, the, there is the, there's the, um, there's the pottery scene and uh, the song from the movie as well, Unchained Melody. And the uh, original music for the musical is written by Dave Stewart and Glenn Ballard. So it's like, kind of like pop rock, but there's kind of everything in it. There's gospel, there's anything you really want to look for. Are you talking about Dave Stewart, like any Lennox Dave Stewart? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Dude, badass. Yeah, I, I know, know seriously, that. yep. Uh, okay, so um, you play the bad guy, dude. I do. You, we got to talk about your character, Carl Bruner, mm -hmm. which in the movie I, I, I wanted to like punch the TV because he's such a and you seem like such a nice guy. How do you how, how do you do? Uh, well, okay, is there a, a, looks you, can be deceiving. Um, no, I mean it was played by by Tony Golden in the film, and he's a nice guy. Well, I think Carl is just kind of he's not really misunderstood because he's kind of like a greedy bad person, but he gets in a situation that he loses control of. He really does love his friends, but he makes one bad decision and then in trying to fix it continues to make worse decisions and just it ends up making it worse. Okay, but where do you draw from that? Because I have a feeling the audience, if you walk, if I walk into this and, and I've already seen the movie, I don't like you. Um, well, how do you, how, what is, how, what is your audience, what is the response you, you, you get? Well, that's, that's the hard part. I, I honestly like it more when people who've never seen the movie come, because then I have a chance to like at least make people like me for 30 seconds before, because everyone who's seen the movie walks in and they're like, we already know he's the bad guy, so no matter how much he tries to smile and be nice in the beginning, we still hate him. Um, so, but all I can do at the beginning of the show is just try and be the nicest guy I possibly can. I love it. And so this has got to just be a thrill to be working on a show like this because I mean it's a big deal. It's a big show. Oh yeah, it's huge. This is the big, easily the biggest show I've ever been a part of. Um, it's a blast. The, like, everything we got, we had um, the creatives who worked on the Broadway production as well and the set and everything is just so huge. It's actually insane. The first time I saw it all come together, I literally, it blew my mind. I didn't even know like how to respond because I had never seen anything like it before.